Hey, welcome back. It's Debbie from Debbie's Crafty Hands here. Um, today we're going to have a play at making some fridge magnets. So, let's go down to the table screen. There we go. Right, today I have done a bit of prep so it didn't uh, use up all our time. I have made some little dinosaurs and I've got several because what I want to do is layer them up. So we'll start with the little flower and basically you need to decide what, if you do them in different colours, if you do, you can do them in like cereal box card um, and cut the shapes. You need three to four layers depending on how thick you want your but it needs to be reasonably substantial if it's going to be pulled on and off um, the fridge. So I'm going to do the pink top for the flower, the beige in between and the white. So it gives me three layers of flowers. So I need to put the... And you, make sh you need to make sure that you keep them the same facing because like with the dinosaurs, if you put it like that, it ain't gonna work. The flowers should be fairly equal, but you just don't know, so keep them all facing up the same way. So I'm just going to put a layer of glue on each petal, a very thin layer, and it will spread itself once I put it in. You can use um, stick glue or PVA or whatever, but this one dries quite quickly, so I'll make sure I got it the right way up and layer it up there. I'll make sure they're all stuck together. And I got a bit of card to glue on, and I'm not gluing on it, so let's stick that there so I don't stick it to my desk. So I'm just running the end of my pokey tool over just to make sure full contact all the way around. And then more goo. And we'll do the next layer. So basically it's quite a straightforward you usually need die cuts or sh images, um, whether they be um, from a punch or from a die, or even your own shapes, but you need a, a block rather than too much hole in it because otherwise you've got nothing to secure the magnet onto. So that's one thing to look for. And you can use whatever shape you like. Um, Dinosaurs, I made my um, great nephews and niece them for Christmas fridge magnets and they love playing with them. Trouble is, so did the cat, so they had to put them out of the way for a little while um, so that until the cat's forgotten about them. So. But they're good even on just, it doesn't have to be on fridges, it can be on like a metal board on the wall. For kids to play with. So, just making sure we're all the way around, even at the edges. All right, we'll let that one dry for a minute and I have another flower here, again three layers. Now I think I'm going to put pink at the top of this one as well. Now this is from a hole punch. Um, years old, I don't know where I got it from. I think it was from the stash that my mum de-stashed over to me, but I can't be certain. It may have been from a charity shop, but it's a very hefty, heavy punch. Um, and, but it's, a good little workhorse for shapes and stuff. So 
some now if you've got a plain shape like this you can you know obviously do it up maybe put some bling around the outside or something so we'll have a have a play in a little while when this is dry and see how we can bling this up and quite often whiteboards are magnetic as well the the white right on boards um, so you can use this sort of thing for holding stuff messages and stuff on your whiteboards there's no reason why they can't look fancy is there? and another look there so basically we're layering up um, to give a, a bit of sturdiness and thickness but you need to make sure you know which is going to be your top layer now this one doesn't matter which way round I don't think because it's um, quite a uniform shape but for a heart or something like that then you would obviously need to make sure press it in I'm going to leave that one to dry. So these dinosaurs, what I thought is I'd vary the colours. So I'll do one with white at the top, one with beige at the top, and one with pink at the top. And then they'll have different characters. So we'll maybe have that one with pink at the top. I can have beige at the top. Or craft as it's known. Although I don't think that's true craft. Craft is a bit dark, maybe. Um, and I'm just popping these out my die cut um, with um, my pokey tool. Um, these I believe I got from Amazon, these little dinosaur ones. Either Amazon or um, Wish. You can probably find that you just put, you know, dinosaur die cuts and you'll probably come up with a whole load of them that you can choose from. These come in a set of three and they are very, very cute. So this one's going to be white. Okay. Top, so we've got them in the right order. Put that out of the way. So we'll go for this one at the top. Um, now these ones, because they've got the eye here, um, you have to make sure that the it's very well lined up, and they do actually sort of almost fit inside each other, a bit like Pringles because of the dents in them. So it's quite straightforward to line them up. Let's put the pokey two through the eye. Sorry, Mr. Dinosaur, poking you in the eye. Ooh, got a dirty nose. And gungy with the glue. Okay, so that's what I've gone on. This one. Now, put my lid back on. I don't remember doing that. So the magnets I've had, I bought a roll of magnets and I've had to straighten them out. So what I've done is I've got a metal sheet shim for the um, big shot and I've laid them out on here and pressed it down and um, had them under my um, crafting mat for a while to flatten them down so they're not doing too bad. But they've still got a little bit of a curl to them. Bit like a couple of railway lines, don't they? We'll be using from that in a minute. Avalanche. Right, and that one. Oh, fingers are sticky. 
book you up. Come on, you're the top layer. You're important. Come on. No, don't lay down on the job. Come on. Too late to say you're shy now. That's it. And the fun is the layer underneath shows through. Um, find the right camera. <laughs> do be do be do, do do be do be do. So yeah, basically, he the layer underneath shows through the little holes. So oh, try it on, but don't you? Yes, we have a new camera angle, by the way. <laughs> We're just playing around with the angles of the cameras. So, so yeah, let's let you dry. Now, I'm sure my nephews would t be able to tell me exactly which dinosaur was whom um, in the Stegosaurus and T-Rex and whatever category. I think we have a Stegosaurus uh, T-Rex and a, is it a Flatosaurus or something? Um, a Brachiosaurus. Uh, Brachiosaurus. I think it might be Dithinkiosaurus. That's the, what you call a one-eyed dinosaur. And these are one-eyed dinosaurs because they're only 2D. What do you call a deer with one eye? No idea. Boom boom. Right, so this one. I'll have the pink. Oh, no, because this one hasn't got the holes in it. Okay. Oh, that might be it. Yeah, I've got these three. I do pop three. Only the smaller ones, eh? Okay, well, three of them are going to be pink. Right, so this was beige on top, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, my um, my stickers for marking where I need to be on the camera have peeled off, uh, camera three, and off the camera stuff. camera's been readjusted several times since. So we need to maybe put some more stickers down at some point. Right, okay, Mr. T Rex, or are you Mrs. T Rex? Fluffer. Okay, that's another one done. Right, nearly got them all done, and then we can start doing some decoration. Right, that was going to be white on top, wasn't it? Yeah, these poke through. I don't like it, so. Got the beige on the bottom, the pink, and then the white. And more goop. Ah, get off my finger. They're very grabby, aren't they? No, stay still. Stay still. Thank you. Goodness me. Wiggle pots. Would you change your character? Like rabbit gnomes? Yes, that's right. In your blight and magic wishing chair. Uh, no, the magic wishing chair or the magic fire away tree. 
one of them. That's why I was trying to remember which one it was. Out those two. I think it was Far Away Tree, because they went up into the land of the Grabbit names, didn't they? And they went grab it, grab it, grab it. No, oh, but the wishing chair with that. Cool, yeah, though. it did. I can't. I'm not so clear on the adventures of the wishing chair. I do remember it. Um, we had a master chair at the dining sets. You know, you have the ones at the end of the table with the arms on it. Carver chair, I think they call them. And my sister and I used to sit in this chair, come from my mum's great aunt, so it was quite an antique. And we used to sit in this chair and pretend it was a magic wishing chair. I did that as well. You chair. did that, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's still gone. Yeah. I think, think it's gone to my sister's. Yes, it has, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a, a family heirloom, this carver chair and we always refer to it as a magic wishing chair. It looks very similar, if you've seen the picture. Like the old cover sort of thing for the magic wishing mm. chair. Very similar sort I think of we even chair. tried to put wings on it at one point. That's what it's to do that. Right? I think we tied, tied some fabric round it or something mm. as wings. Yeah. Right, so now we've got our bits stuck together. We want to get the edging done. Let's just put the thing in my glue. I don't want to use that. So the dies can go back on the shelf, please. Mr. Assistant. Anyone? Um, yeah, it doesn't matter for the moment. They've got to be sorted through anyway. So I have some felt pens here and Four little pinky here. What's, oh no, these are the paint pens. These aren't the felt pens. <gasps> Can't be using paint pens. It'll take all day to dry. Oh. Reaching behind me and finding some suitable pens. Don't mind the trepid going in the background. Trepid? Oh, the, the camera, yeah. Don't mind that. So, I've got a Crayola and I'm just going to be using the side of it just to highlight the edge. And it should bring all the edges together. I'll only do one, but I'll order the others. half an hour setting it up oh, better yeah. oh no I'm gonna have to make him got a red nose now oh well we'll do something with that in a minute maybe she's gonna have pink stripes well we don't know what they look like back in the day do we so we can make it up Oh, these aren't exactly historically accurate outside of the <laughs> No, they're very cartoony. Wow. Trying to get into the tight angle there. on the tail end of it. <laughs> no. Terrible. 
Why not? My jokes are terrible. They are. If you can call them jokes. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah. Never so, right, so. Never that. If we do these. Toenails, there you go. Oh. Yeah. So, you can have fun with your little characters. And so, I won't do all the dinosaurs because obviously that's going to take ages. But I will go back to the flowers. Now, this one, because it's plain. I found a, I think it's a snowflake, but it, it looks sort of flowery to me, so, um, so I'm going to try and center it best I can in a nice pinky color. I need to get rid of that bit off the side there. Okay, I'll be all over. Look. Nothing around the edges, fingers clean, and down we go. Right, I'm trying to get because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm trying to get the little bumps in the right place to go with the petals and center it. Well, if it's no good, I'll just turn it over and use the other side. <laughs> hey! I'm quite pleased with that. Yeah. Now, should we put some bling around the outside, do you think? Just do the edges like that. So I'm just using two of the little divots and just going around the edges. Just to give it a bit of a border and then that's press it a bit harder. red on the outside doesn't have to be the like the full pattern so like this is not quite all there <laughs> neither am I <laughs> hey, that sounds familiar. Oh. Oh, let's go around so just because you have a plain shape it doesn't mean to say you can't do anything with it now, I'm just wondering how I'm going to get into those little divot bits. That needs a little bit more on that side. And down here. Do I need to get into the divots or do we just have it on the edges? What do you reckon? I think. good don't we so this just needs its magnet so I'll bring a piece in 
Now, you don't need a huge great. Right, camera. Keep it on the paper. Keep it on the paper. Okay. Right, so you probably only need about that much. Now, you could go around all of them, and depends on how much use it's going to get pulling it on and off, but because you made it quite firm, and it'll give it a bit more flexibility, so you can add it more onto it. And this is quite good stuff because you can literally, it looks like a strip of licorice, so don't mistakenly try and eat it. So, and you need to make sure you've got the right side facing down. So here's my metal board. And that's the bit that goes onto the yeah, that's the bit that goes on to the so the bit that goes onto the metal actually needs to be the bit that you glue down. That's what I'm trying to say. I think no, the other way around, isn't it? The other way around. Yes, of course, because you're not going to glue it that way, are you? You're going to glue it that way. Yes. Okay. So the bit that goes onto the metal needs to be face up. That's yeah. That's correct. I'm telling you wrong before. So, give this plenty of glue because this will need to be well stuck on. Ooh, like me, well sticky. Ugh. Sticky. Sticky icky. Icky sticky wicky. Oh. Right, so. That one there and let that dry. Now I'm going to put the weight of the um, what do you call this thing? Acrylic block on top. Right, this one doesn't need a lot of decoration. I've put a couple of pearls out and I can't decide between white or pink. So, what do you reckon? White Get the bits and look of it. The dust or the pink. Oh, the pink's not that way. Yeah. Right, I'm going for pink then. I can go back in the jar there. Before we do, do we need to put a base on here underneath it? No, we haven't done the edging yet, so we need to do some edging. I'm not getting right down into the creases with this because you're not really going to see them. It's only the tips of the petals that you're going to see properly. trying very hard not to go over the edges because unlike the dinosaur I'm not sure how I'd retrieve it so I just have to do some veins on the flower or something but so if I do it from the back facing me rather from the front facing me if I do slip it's not going to matter as much One's got a few more petals on than the other one. Okay. I'm getting there. How many more petals? Oh, I've got only a couple more petals. That's good. That's when you think you've gone back round again. Hopefully, I should see the pink on the edges and you're all finished. Yeah. Uh, 
said that five minutes ago, didn't I? But we really are nearly there this time. And round the corner. Do that side. Do that side. And we're there. Okay, so only one little slip. So luckily I did turn it round on the back. But it just takes the edge away. <laughs> right, okay, so I'm going to stick the, the gem on and then we can have a, a quick view of what we've achieved. It doesn't seem a lot, but you can play with the ideas, shall we say. So this one has its... Um, inking i haven't done around the outside of this one yet either but um as you see it takes a bit of dangling so you want to you know take your time with it and go slowly so you don't slip um but that is has its magnet on it now this one i would just literally put a magnet across the center piece here and it is quite you know quite so sturdy and substantial with just the three layers and we have our little Miss Pink here our Mr Beige and our Snow White um, need a little bit more work on those but there you go so oh, let's move you along a bit you can use you know basically whatever shapes you fancy so that's it for this time. Much love. Tally bye. And I'll see you in the next one.